In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to tweak your network for lower latency and less delay during online gaming or any other tasks that require a stable connection. A lot of gamers out there struggle with network lag, packet loss, and general latency problems that can seriously impact their performance. Whether you're playing competitive FPS games or just trying to get a smoother browsing experience, these tweaks should make a noticeable difference. Before we dive into the video though, I want to point out that only 6% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. It really helps out the channel, and I'd love to see that number grow. Alright, with that out of the way, let's jump straight into today's first network optimization tweak. 1. Disable UDP offload. The first tweak I want to show you is about disabling UDP offloading. So what exactly is UDP offloading? Well, UDP, User Datagram Protocol, is one of the core protocols that drives network traffic. Offloading basically means the task of processing UDP traffic is delegated to the network card rather than your CPU. While this can sound like a good thing, it can actually introduce latency issues, especially when your network card is slower than your CPU. Now, if you have a high-end CPU, this tweak will make a noticeable difference. But if you're running a low-end CPU, or experiencing bottlenecks where your CPU is running at 100%, even when your FPS is capped, I don't recommend this tweak as it might not have a positive effect on your system. But for those of you with a mid to high-end CPU, disabling UDP offload can give your CPU more control over packet processing, which might result in better latency and faster processing times. Here's how to do it. Open command prompt as an administrator. Once you have command prompt open, type the following command. Hit enter to execute the command. This will disable UDP offloading, and your CPU will now take on the task of processing that traffic, which should result in a better, more responsive network experience. If you have a tuned or overclocked CPU, this tweak will work even better and reduce network delays. Now, moving on to the next tweak. Two, configure fast send datagram threshold. This tweak comes directly from NVIDIA's documentation and helps with optimizing UDP traffic. It's not the most commonly known tweak, but it's incredibly effective for improving the flow of your network traffic. Here's how you can do it. First, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Then type Regedit and press Enter to open the Registry Editor. Navigate to the following path in the Registry Editor. HKey underscore local underscore machine system current control set service AFD parameters. Once you're in the Parameters folder, right-click on any empty space in the right pane and select New, D-Word, 32-bit value. Name the new value, Fast Send Datagram Threshold. Make sure you type it exactly like this, no spaces or typos. Now, double-click on the new Fast Send Datagram Threshold value and change it to decimal. Set the value to 40,960, then click OK. You should now see the hex value in the side. If this appears, that means the tweak was applied correctly and you've successfully optimized your UDP traffic processing. This tweak should help your system process UDP packets faster, reducing the delay between your system and the game server. 3. Adjust Network Adapter Buffers Your network adapter has hidden buffer settings that can directly impact latency, and by increasing them, you can reduce ping spikes and improve overall network performance. Here's how to do it. Press Win plus R, type Regedit, and hit Enter to open the registry editor. Don't worry, this is safe as long as you follow the steps exactly. In the address bar at the top, paste this path. HKey underscore local underscore machine system. Current control set control. Once you're there, you'll see folders named. These are your network adapters. Click each one and look on the right side for a value called driver desk. Find the one that matches your active network adapter. For example, Realtek Gaming GBE Family Controller or Intel Ethernet Controller. Now look for two values, transmit buffers, receive buffers. If they don't exist, right click in the right panel, choose new, string value. Name them exactly, transmit buffers and receive buffers. Double click each one and set the values like this, transmit buffers 2048 or 4096, receive buffers 1024 or 2048. Pro tip, the higher the number, the better the performance. But some adapters have a limit. If it doesn't accept the high value, try lowering it slightly. Once that's done, restart your PC to lock in the changes. 4. Configure Receive Side Scaling RSS Head back into Registry Editor and navigate to the path. HKey underscore local underscore machine system. Current control set service TCP IP parameters. 
In the right pane, look for a doored value called RSS. If it's not there, you can create it by right-clicking, selecting New, D-Word, 32-bit value, and naming it RSS. Set the RSS value to 1 to enable it. Next, we need to configure the RSS profile. Look for the D-Word value called RSS profile and set it to 3. This sets the profile to num static, which is the best setting for your system. Right-click on an empty space in the right pane and choose new string value. Name the new value RSSQ and give it a value of 2, 3, or 4, depending on your preference. Finally, ensure the max RSS processor's value is set to 4. This ensures it uses the fourth processor core and configure max proc number by subtracting 2 from your total logical processors. You can check your logical processors in Task Manager, Performance, CPU. For example, if you have 12 logical processors, subtracting 2 will leave you with 10, so set max proc number to 10. This tweak optimizes your network adapter to handle more requests with less latency. 5. Disable flow control and interrupt moderation. This final tweak is crucial for reducing network latency. In Registry Editor, go to the path. HKE underscore local underscore machine system current control set service TCP IP parameters. Look for any values related to flow control and interrupt moderation. If they exist, double click them and set their values to zero to disable them. If you don't see them, you can manually create these values by selecting new DWORD 32 bit value and naming them accordingly. Lastly, search for flow control cap and ensure that it's set to zero ensuring that flow control is fully disabled. That's it for today's video, guys. These tweaks are some of the best ways to improve network performance, especially when you're gaming or working with real-time data. Whether you're using a high-end PC or something more budget-friendly, these settings should make a significant difference in your latency. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.